Well, good morning, Facebook. This is John Lampson with American Shield Roofing and Construction. We're out here for day two of our Port, big Port Lavaca build. Uh, 140 squares of GAF uh, Timberline HDC. Pewter Gray has been going down for the last day and a half. Uh, we got a lot accomplished yesterday. If you've been keeping up with this, uh, this is uh, a pretty big house we got going on out here today uh, and yesterday. So uh, you can see the back slope behind me has all pretty much been completed. Everything except for the hip and the ridge cap has been put down. Um, don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about things that we did yesterday. So let's move around and see if we can't show you what, uh, what's been going on today. So. so this is the back slope. call this the north face of the house right here I believe it's probably the north side it's kind of hard to tell you get turned around a little bit but as you can see beautiful color going down you can see the high contrast and the color the darks and the lights how they all work together and I love this kind of look this gray look I love this brick with the, the gray look with the with the that rose colored brick it really makes everything pop uh, customer wanted to come back with white drip edge uh, to really separate things out Okay, you can see the hip caps going up right now. What you see right there is what's called Z-Ridge. Let me see if I can zoom in. See if it allows me. There you go. But that's called Z-Ridge, okay? Uh, and these wind, these high wind uh, prone areas, it's better to put Z-Ridge up there on the, on the hips and ridge caps just because it offers a whole lot more stability, a whole lot more dur durability with the wind. Uh, the, the material actually gets doubled over at one point in the strike zone. So whenever it gets nailed down, it, uh, it actually goes through two layers to make it more durable. So we still got one little section right there in the middle of the tear off from yesterday. With the weather coming down like it was yesterday, we had to hold off on doing a complete tear out. But uh, you know, we'll get that knocked out here in a little bit. See our guys doing a little install work right there. If you notice how it gets feathered up a certain way, there's a six inch uh, space that gets put, a uh, little six inch slide over that gets put in there so that whenever water hits that, uh, each shingle, it sheds down and there's no penetration, there's no gaps uh, in between, the, uh, in between the, uh, the shingles for that water to get down. It sheds right on down. So uh, being a wind zone uh, area that we're in right now, wind zone county, uh, minimum six nails gets put in every single. Okay, that's pretty much our standard uh, across the board. Uh, if a homeowner says they want to come back with four nails or five nails, well, obviously we'll comply with that. But uh, we like to put six just to make sure those shingles don't come flying off, you know, in a windstorm. So let's go back over here and check what's going on. I believe we got this whole south side completed yesterday. Yep. Whole south side of the house has been done. Still a little bit of cleanup work needs to be done, but uh, that'll all be taken care of. Yeah, it looks like the hip and ridge caps still need to go on back over here as well. So, but uh, like I said, this is Timberline HDZ Pewter Gray is the color. Okay, Pewter P E W T E R Gray is the color. Uh, we really like this color. I'm I'm a big fan of grays as it is myself. But this one really pops. The GF Timberline HDZ line is really good because it has a high contrast to it. So you really get a lot, a lot of texture to the roof, um, especially on these architectural shingles. You really get a lot of texture on it. And you get to see those colors really pop. Kind of wishes a little bit more sunshine today, but uh, we get this booger lit up in the daytime. It's going to look pretty nice. So anyways, that's your update for the day. Okay, let me flip it back around. That's your update for today. So I uh, just want to reach out and let everybody know. Um, you know, I talked about the hailstorm that came through uh, Houndsville and Shiner and Moulton uh, a couple days ago and a couple weeks ago. Uh, we got a phone call this morning, in fact, uh, from a gentleman who said he had some hail damage out there on the west side of, uh, of Houndsville. So if you know you guys got hit with some hail out there, give me a call. Uh, we're right there in the middle of Houndsville, right across from Whitley's Lumber. Our friends at Whitley Lumber, they take care of us every day. So, um, you know, we, uh, we're right there in the middle of town. My cell phone number is 832 452 1116, or you can call the company line 361 343 7018. Or if you're if you're one of those techie guys who wants to go online and check up all of our reviews online, uh, go go check out www.americanshieldroofing.com. Uh, we'd love to hear we'd love to hear from every one of you. Okay, uh, especially if you guys got caught up in that hailstorm, we'll help you get through that insurance process. Uh, nothing to be afraid of, really. I mean, the hardest part is pulling the trigger on filing the claim and uh, choosing the color. We'll take care of the rest of it for you. So. Uh, give us a shout today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, like I said, we're down here at the Lumber Locker right
right now. I'm going to finish up this 140 square roof sometime today. Uh, real excited about it. It's a beautiful roof. Unbelievable. Uh, 140 squares. That's a, that's a lot of roof, y'all. So, anyways, y'all have a great day. Take care of yourselves, okay?